Are you tired of spending hours making the wrong content for your slides and then manually adjusting each and every page to make it look presentable? We've all been there. It's frustrating, time-consuming, and honestly, not the best use of your energy. But what if I told you that now you can create a complete, professional-looking slide deck in just minutes? All it takes is Claude Sonnet 4 and a powerful new feature inside AIPPT. In this video, I'll show you exactly how it works, and trust me, you won't believe how simple it is. This is Parvez Durrani, and you are watching Guru Tech Solutions. First, we will use Claude Sonnet 4 to create our content for the presentation slides. On the main screen, you can see Claude Sonnet 4. The first step is to enter the prompt we have prepared for generating our detailed presentation. The prompt is, create a detailed markdown style presentation line on the topic, hosting the strategy for skincare products in the Korean market. The presentation should have 10 slides and each slide should include three to four bullet points with actionable insights. Once we enter this prompt, we click on the Start button and Claude Sonnet 4 begins creating our content. As you can see, the content is generated and we will use this as the base material for our slides. Now, we want to change this content into Markdown format. For that, we give another prompt. I want the output in Markdown PDF format. After clicking Start, Claude Sonnet 4 quickly converts the presentation into Markdown PDF format. In just a few seconds, the file is ready for download. Once downloaded, we now have our slide content prepared in Markdown PDF format. The next step is to move over to the website AIPPT.com. On the homepage, you can see multiple options for creating PowerPoint slides. But today, we will focus on the new feature called Generate Dynamic Slides. This feature is a real time saver and one of the most powerful updates on AIPPT. After clicking on it, we arrive at the main dashboard of the Dynamic Slide Generator. Here, several customization options are available. We can set the number of cards, choose the language, define the scenario, and adjust the content amount. Since we have already structured our presentation into 10 slides, we will select 10 cards. Expanding the menu gives us even more options where we can choose the page style, tone, and audience. At this stage, we upload our reference document, which is the Markdown PDF we just generated using Claude Sonnet 4. After uploading, we enter the prompt. Use this reference PDF to generate slides. Then, we set the card number to 10, the language to English, and the scenario to business plan. For the content amount, we select Moderate. The rest of the settings remain the same, and for the audience, we choose Business Audience. These settings guide the AI to generate a presentation that matches our exact theme and purpose. Once everything is ready, we click on the Generate button, and AIPPT begins to create the outline of our presentation. After the outline is generated, we can review it, make edits, or delete any pages if necessary. With the outline finalized, we proceed to the theme section. From the available designs, we select the blue ink dancing theme. Next, we move to the image settings. AIPPT gives three options, AI Create, Placeholder, or No Image. We select AI Create and then choose the Flux Ultra model, which is free to use. After clicking Generate, AIPPT begins building our full presentation. The process is very fast, usually taking only 10 to 15 seconds. Without any fast forwarding, you can see that the slides are generated completely. Each slide comes with matching AI-generated images that align with the slide's content. This is an important detail because the images are not random, they are context-aware, designed to fit the actual content of each page. This makes the slides look much more professional. For example, on the slide covering challenges and opportunities, the AI generates an image that is directly related to that topic. Every image throughout the deck follows this same logic, resulting in a visually appealing and accurate presentation. Now let's move on to the editing part. Suppose you want to add any kind of text, whether it's plain text, a title, a heading, or a text box, you can easily do it from the editing options. 
All you have to do is select the type of text you want to add. For example, if you choose a text box, simply click on it and drag it onto the page. Instantly, a text box will appear where you can type anything. You can see how easily a title or main body text can be placed and you don't have to worry about adjusting its position. The system automatically aligns it for you. This way, adding plain text, titles, or headings is as simple as drag and drop. In addition to text, you can also add different layouts. These include options such as numbered lists, text box lists, and image lists. For example, if you want to insert a numbered list, just drag and drop it into the page, and it will be added instantly. The same goes for an image list. Once an image list section is added, you can easily insert images into it. To add images, click on the Upload option. Here you have two choices. You can either upload images directly from your computer or device, or you can generate new images using AI. If you choose AI Create, simply type your prompt, for instance, skincare products, and keep the settings the same. After clicking Generate, your AI-generated image will be updated into the slide within seconds. You can repeat this process for the rest of the image sections, making it quick and efficient. If you want to edit or replace an existing image that was generated earlier, simply click on that image. You'll see options to delete or edit. By choosing Edit, you can view the prompt that was used to create the image. From there, you can either modify the prompt to get a different style or regenerate the image with the same prompt. In just seconds, the updated image appears, making the editing process very simple and fast. Now let's say you want to add a new card. You can insert a blank card and then build it using templates. Within the card options, there are various templates available. Some are basic, while others include space for images. If you want to design a card with an image, simply select a template that includes one. After adding the template, you can generate or upload an image, add a title, and then enter plain text or descriptions in the body section. You can also drag and drop additional image sections if needed, and the editing process remains just as easy. If at any point you want to change the theme of your entire presentation, you can do that as well. Just go to the Theme section where you'll find a wide range of theme options. By simply clicking on a new theme, the entire look of your presentation updates instantly. Once applied, you can scroll through the slides to see how the design has changed. Finally, let's talk about sharing and exporting. If you are working with a team, you can enable the share option, copy the generated link, and send it to your team members so they can view or edit the presentation further. For exporting, you have multiple formats available. You can export your slides as a PDF, a PPT file, or even as PNG images. Exporting is quick and straightforward. And if you don't want to export but prefer to present directly, AIPPT also provides a present mode. With one click, you can present your entire slide deck directly within the website. So this was our complete walkthrough of AIPPT's new feature, Generate Dynamic Slides, using the markdown content we created with Claude Sonnet 4. If you want to try out AIPPT yourself, I've added the link in the description. And you can also use the code GURU10 to get a 10% discount on subscription. It's definitely worth checking out if you want to save time and create professional presentations with AI. If you found this video helpful, don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit the bell icon so you don't miss any of my future videos. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.